What's happening guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Riscona. This is a second tutorial of my DIY CNC. And if you haven't seen my first part of the, of the tutorial where I showed how to design and collect parts for the DIY CNC machine. Um, so please, I'm gonna please check that video out. I'm gonna drop a link in this video. So, uh, in the second part of the tutorial, we, I'm going to assemble all the pieces I cut last time. As you could see on this video, I am using those wide L-shape angles. Those angles are going to assist me to make sure all the corners are right angle at 90 degrees. Um, I, will, I would like to make sure um, there's a maximum accuracy in my design. You could easily tell by my design that it's a pretty simple design and the assembly wouldn't take that much of time and there are no uh, complex parts or any um, parts that have a contours so yeah let's go and assemble this whole machine I use several clamps and these L shape um, angles guide angles um, during assembly of a base and then in the x-axis um, as you could see in the in this video Um, so from these drawer slides try to take this um, as you can see this bit uh, this section of the drawer slide goes to the other part that's being that's gonna be slide in and out so so there's a lock here actually just press it and take it out it's that easy and now we are left with a section uh, the part that is gonna go uh, onto the this machine. So I'm gonna fit these slides over here. Make sure. So there are two, the two ends. There's one end that is that has like some sort of a, a stopper, so it stops the slide going out, and the other end is open and it goes out. So I'm gonna place it here and these two pieces will be my guide it just it's like a guide piece and we'll make sure there's a similar distance from from this edge to here and from this edge to this edge To attach these um, drawer slides on this surface, I'm gonna use uh, these little screws. They are specially designed for the drawer slides, and they fit well into this uh, these holes that's going over here. So as you can see, my slides are secure now. It's name Maven, so good. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna repeat this process to install um, slides on this, on this area, this area, and the area opposite over here.
so my Y rails are ready. These are my X ray X rails. <laughs> my next step would be to install this um, workspace over here. The section of the drawer slide I took out earlier, I have attached this, that piece to a MDF, MDF strip and you will see in a minute how I'm going to use this to guide my X-Rail X, X attached workspace in and out. Now I'm gonna explain you why um, I put these extra holes on these drawer slides. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these um, acrylic pieces that I'm gonna join over here. So these acrylic pieces will kind of work as a mounting bracket. So I don't have to take them out e each and every time. I just can if I need to swap my any parts from my Z axis gantry. I can just um, take them out from these acrylic pieces or attach them using these acrylic pieces, not this, not these drawer slides. So this includes my part 2 of the tutorial and uh, I have installed X, my x-axis um, rails and y-axis rails. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any comments or any feedback regarding my video, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the part 3. Thank you so much. Bye.